tech okay. corner today. We have a tech corner today. This right. is a good one from our from from Brunson, and and Brunson uh, sent this to us, and it is an interesting tool. Some some technology has been around for a little while, but it, an interesting application of it. Right. This is one of those things. This is from uh, Brunson Instrument Company. What I have in front of me right now, what you see on the desk right here. Let me lower my screen a little bit. What you see on the desk right here is the uh, uh, the Brunson Instrument. 2022 alignment scope, also outfitted with an 8420 camera kit. Now, get my coffee cup out of the way here. Um, this part of the scope been around forever. There have probably been alignment scopes for as long as there's been the Industrial Revolution. Basically, an, uh, a, an old, reliable tool used for aligning uh, lining equipment, line, lining, uh, aligning jigs. Think of it, if you're not familiar with it, it's kind of similar to a surveyor's transit, mm -hmm. where you look through the scope, through a set of crosshairs or other type of reticules uh, to a target and you use that to align uh, something that's in front of you. It could be to align a bore, it could be to align a very long shaft, it could be a, to align two pieces of equipment. It is exactly what it says, that it is an optical alignment tool, very precise. Now, these tools have been around forever. In fact, I, th I talked to Brenson, this particular instrument has probably been around at Brenson for, since Brunson's son was a son, was since, a baby. I mean, he's been around they were probably the cave. Before, <laughs> before they were in the cave, 50, 60 years. It's been around there for a long time. Now, there are a couple issues with an optical, your standard optical alignment scope, and that is they are an optical device. You've, they've got an eyepiece on the end. So there's a couple of issues. Number one, there is always the issue of parallax. Whenever you're looking through an eyepiece, if you don't have your eye directly centered over the eyepiece, then you're not really seeing the, the crosshairs on the target uh, exactly accurate. Now, people can be trained to do this properly. I mean, that, that's not a big deal, but it is an issue. It is a training issue. Uh, you also have the thing where, unlike a surveyor's transit, which sits out in the open, it's up on a nice tripod, the eyepiece is usually at eye level, these can be anywhere. They can, you may have to do your alignment on the floor. You may have to do your alignment on a scaffold. You may have to do your alignment backed into some sort of corner, in which case getting your head behind the eyepiece, even if you have a right angle eyepiece, sometimes you, just, you have to be a contortionist, and that's just the, the way it works. I mean, it, that is the problem with an optical device. You've got to get your head behind the device. That's the second problem. The third problem is that for most alignment issues, or for many alignment tasks, you need two people. You need one person on the scope, and you need another person at the target, or the thing that you're trying to move around and align. So you've got two people. So Brunson's solution, very simple. Put a CCD camera mm -hmm. over the eyepiece. Doesn't get any simpler than that. Off the shelf, uh, off the shelf device. Uh, they've built obviously an adapter to adapt to their scope. This is one of those just elegant solutions that you get uh, when somebody says, "Look, uh, geez, why don't we just put a camera on it?" I'm sure that's what happened. Um, but look at what you get. So we, we've got a CCD camera here. It's connected to my laptop. If we look at my laptop screen here, you can see that I am simply seeing now uh, that image on my laptop. Now this laptop now can be anywhere. It's just on a big old long USB cable. Now I can sit comfortably. I can look at this. If I want to make adjustments, you can see I'm moving, I'm moving it up and down with one, uh, with one knob here. I can move it left and right with the other. Okay, so it's very easy for me to see what's going on. I've got a focus knob. I don't have to worry about getting my head behind this device. Very simple to use. But, so we've taken care of two of the problems. Ergonomics and parallax here. We still have the issue of how do you deal with two people needing to do a job. Well, what's beautiful is once you have this on a computer, you can do all sorts of things. So we happen to have uh, a Kindle Fire here. Loaded on the Kindle Fire and on the laptop uh, is a little piece of software that allows us to remotely control uh, the computer. Uh, you've probably seen these. A lot of people use these. So now what I have, if, we'll, if we can go to the... Uh, here we go, I'll hold this up, try not to get too much reflection in it. Okay, so now you see what I'm holding up. This is a Kindle Fire, and you can see that now I can go remote with my screen. So what, what that means is these are connected via a wireless network. So what I can have is uh, I can have my 
camera connected to my laptop back at the scope and I can go way the heck down to wherever I need to work with my little Kindle Fire or iPad or smartphone. This application runs on a number of devices. Now I am my second person mm -hmm. because I can actually see what's going on at the scope at the same time I'm making adjustments with the scale or with uh, the alignment, whatever I'm trying to do. I've got it right here with me. So again, just a very just elegant in its simplicity type of solution. Uh, this again is from, uh, from Brunson Instrument. And if you're interested in that, that is the 8420 camera kit. Uh, right now, the camera kit is set up for their optical alignment tools. Mm -hmm. um, they are looking at rolling it out for some of their other optical devices uh, as well. So keep your eyes on that. Uh, if, it's, if you have these tools, um, Brunson was telling me that they know some people have these tools uh, kind of stuck away in a cabinet. Um, this actually kind of breathes new life into yeah. them because it gives them some capabilities they didn't have before. So Using technology using, today? Using simple technology. Great. Yeah. Great job. All right. Yeah, thanks, yeah. Derek. Hey, thanks, stuff. Derek. Thank you, Brunson, for, for sending that to us. And again, Derek, right below the player page right here, of course, is there's a link a, out. There is a link out to that device. The, the, right. the device, the product page on Brunson's website. So check that out if you're interested in, in finding out more about this, this product. So thank you. And, and uh, of course, always send us your ideas for Tech Warners, products you're using that you are uh, interested in having us maybe demo here, and we'll, we'll show them to the audience. Right.